Hello and welcome to today's video on integrating Cloud ALM into Jira. So before we jump into the demo itself, I just want to emphasize some of the reasons why you'd want to integrate a work management tool into your SAP solution. So as we often find typically on SAP projects, it's quite difficult to bring the business onto the SAP platform, specifically on Cloud ALM, which is quite a technical tool. So what we're trying to show with this integration is that the business can still use the native work management tool. And for today's example, it is Jira, but this can be any project or work management tool through the open AIs can be integrated into Cloud ALM itself. So really highlighting that you don't have to move everything across to Cloud ALM. You can use these two tools in parallel and still have a single source of truth with information flowing from one tool to another. So why would we want to integrate Jira into Cloud ALM? The first is we want to work smarter, okay? There's a whole host of automations available in Jira that aren't available on SAP. So in terms of proactively identifying bottlenecks and enhancing task prioritization, there's a host of AI tools that are available on Jira that can help your team prioritize tasks prioritize requirements, user stories, etc. So we want to take advantage of that where possible. The second is the Jira marketplace, so the apps. So there's a host of third third party add-ons that are available in Jira. Third is Confluence, so everything in one place. So within Jira itself, there is a tool called Confluence, which is kind of document repository. So what we can do is if all of our documents are already stored in Confluence, we don't have to worry about bringing those over to Cloud ALM. We can access those documents within Jira and link those back to Cloud ALM directly. And we'll show you exactly how that works in the demo. And finally, and possibly the most important is, Jira is really friendly to use. People are already using it for work management, project management, so it makes sense to use this for our SAP projects where possible as well. There's a lot of drag and drop uh, capabilities and a lot of customizable dashboards that you might already be taking advantage of so we can use that as part of our SAP projects as well. Okay, so let's jump in and see the demo. So we're in Cloud ALM now, I'm gonna go ahead and create a task. Okay, so this is in Cloud ALM, I'm gonna create a project task. Just gonna fill out some of the mandatory information. And we're going to go ahead and save that now. So what that's done is that's automatically now created us a task within Jira. Okay, so our business has been assigned a task for something to be worked on. As we can see there, very importantly, we've got a direct reference back from the Jira ticket to Cloud ALM. So we can see all the information that we've entered has been brought across. That's great. We don't have to jump into Cloud ALM. But if we wanted to, the reference is there. We can see the source. We can see where it's been created. And that's really important. So what we're going to do with this task now, so we've been asked to define our workflow approval procedure. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Rovo, which is Atlassian's AI tool. And we're going to ask Rovo to scan our entire knowledge repository for our workflow approval process. So again, we don't have to jump in and try and find it ourselves. There might be multiple documents. What Rovo is going to do is it's going to scan those documents and bring all the relevant information into one response for us. So this might be across two or three multiple documents. As we can see there at the bottom, this information has been pulled from two different documents, but it's given me exactly what I've asked for. So I've not had to go copy and paste from different documents. It's logically gone and found that for me. It's going to go ahead and copy that back into our Jira ticket. So again, just showing how easy this is to use. Okay, and now what we also want to do is, as part of Jira, there is more AI possibilities. So we can find similar issues to make sure we're not duplicating effort. We can summarize what's been done. And we can also suggest child issues, which is really good. So as we often know, this a high level task to define our workflow but approval procedure will generate more tasks. So Jira intuitively is gonna read all the information in the ticket and create some child issue for us, create some subtasks essentially. So it's done that for us. We can go ahead, uh, edit those if we need to, or we can go ahead and accept those, which we could do now. So as you can see, with a few clicks, we've answered our initial query in the task and we've created some subsequent subtasks. Okay, so that was just one very short example of the benefits of using this sort of integration. You can have enhanced collaboration across teams. So your SAP teams can work on SAP, but when they're asking for information from the business, the business aren't having to import that information to Cloud ALM. They can get that natively within Jira, and that will automatically be brought across to Cloud ALM from the ticket integration. We're gonna have streamlined workflows for greater efficiency, as we've just spoke about. Finally, the flexible integration we've shown here with Jira goes beyond Jira, as I've said. This can be any work or project management tool because Cloud ALM has open AIs. We can integrate your existing work management solution into Cloud ALM so that everyone's working on tools they're comfortable with. So hopefully this has given you an appreciation as to why you would want to integrate between the two tools. So thank you for watching and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions.